Welcome to the Thomson Reuters Idea of the Week and Alpha Now. I'm John Cozy. The drought in the U.S. Midwest is wreaking havoc with corn and soybean crops. The weather is causing sharp stock price drops for many food processing firms. Which companies you want to own, if any, depends on how you see the drought playing out. Let's see why. This animation from NOAA shows you how much worse the Midwest drought has become over the past six weeks. The darker red shows the worst hit areas. The USDA forecasts per acre corn yield at its lowest rate since 1995. Unless there's enough rain soon, the soybean crop could be hurt even more. For investors with an eye to the end of the drought, the current dip in stock prices for these companies may be seen as a buying opportunity, although timing is critical. Our work, using data stream charting, shows large market cap companies like Kraft Foods in yellow and General Mills in green were better investments over the past five years than the smaller cap food processors as a whole in blue. This could be due to their scale and ability to hedge away some input price shocks. And big could mean more safety in a protracted drought. Still, most other food processors may offer good trades with chances for outsized returns if you hit it right. Here's what we found. Corn scarcity and its historic price rise to over $8 a bushel is driving companies selling meat products crazy. They need corn to feed their chickens and cows. Soaring grain prices are giving those firms corporate migraines. And let's face it, nobody can hedge forever. Using data stream analytics and charting, we looked at Tyson Foods to see what we might learn from past spikes in corn prices. With 90% of its business focused on beef, chicken, and pork, Tyson missed the mean EPS estimate in its latest quarter. This pushed the stock down 8% on top of the 20% drop when the drought began to hit really hard. But at the same time, that sell-off turned into a cheap entry point for investors looking at something like this chart. We index the total return of corn in yellow and Tyson's total return in blue. Except for the 2008 financial crisis, every spike up in corn allowed investors to jump into Tyson shares months later at lower prices each time for good gains. And a key ingredient was grain markets recovering. Using Starmine's ratio analysis for profitability, one possible reason for Tyson's uneven returns may be that smaller market cap food processors generate smaller operating margin percentages than the giants. Kraft, General Mills, and Kellogg are typically in the teens. So a price shock also becomes a margin shock, at least in the short term. Companies with tenuous balance sheets like Pilgrim's Pride, which went bankrupt, and those firms with weak credit should be avoided if you think this drought has staying power. Historically, we've seen that as higher input prices are passed along to customers, those investors who bought stock on price weakness reap the rewards at least for a while. Remember, these smaller grain price sensitive food processors aren't burning up the track in performance as a group. They're shown here in blue compared to the S&P 500 in yellow. Add the green line showing top performer General Mills for the past five years, and the group may appear disappointing on a buy and hold basis. But trading some lesser market cap names can be quite profitable. Two standout opportunities among the smaller food processors have been Ingredion, the old corn products international in red, and Hormel in purple. Both beat the S&P and Hormel even beat General Mills in total return. Their secret? Both have high single digit or low double digit operating margins, closer to the low teens of their largest peers. So a little extra margin can go a long way for investors. For the less intrepid, trading up in market cap and quality could be the safest bet as the drought continues. For the Thomson Reuters Idea of the Week and Alpha Now, I'm John Cozy.